What's going on, everybody? This is the Blockchain Backer, bringing you the latest cryptocurrency news and analysis. I'm going to make a really quick update. We have green action over here in the cryptocurrency market here. It's evening. It's Friday evening right now as I'm recording this video. We've seen prices pop back up after what were otherwise read throughout the day because we saw a lot of crazy action in the stock market. So in the last video I put out earlier today, we were talking about the XRP price chart, but all throughout the comments, hey, what's going on with the stock market? What's going on with the stock market? I was posting about it all throughout the day over here on Twitter, but obviously it never made its way to YouTube and not everybody follows me over there on Twitter. But if you're not, you should at BC Backer. So let's address this elephant in the room right here. We just had the Dow Jones Industrial Average close below the 200 week moving average, and it also closed below the June low. And it even pierced down here below the peak that was set right back there in February. But somehow, some way, right at the very end, ramped its way back up and still closed the day above the February high and the week above the February high. But the big notable things to take note of here is that one, we went through the 200 week moving average. We did technically pierce that level while well, we did close above it. And we did go below the June low and we also closed below the June low. So is that the end of the world? Why is crypto still green after such a catastrophic thing happening over there on the Dow Jones? And the reality is, while those things did happen on the Dow, it didn't happen everywhere. The Dow did close below the 200 week moving average. That is very concerning. It did pierce through the February of 2020 high. That is concerning. The thing is, it did still close above it. So what is going on here? And what's interesting is if we look over at the NASDAQ, we can see that the NASDAQ actually did not pierce through the 200 week moving average. And at the same time, it did not pierce through the June lows. So it pinpoint nailed it and still maintained on top of it. And the same can be said for the S&P 500, that it did not go below the June lows and is still up above that level right there without getting through the 200 week moving average. So June low holds. 200 week moving average holds here on the S&P 500. June low holds and the 200 week moving average holds over here on the NASDAQ. While the June low does not hold and the 200 week moving average does not hold over here on the Dow Jones. So the big question remains, which one is lying? Some Somebody is lying. Either the Dow Jones is lying or the S&P 500 and the NASDAQ 100 are lying. So everybody and their mom is going to be watching this come Sunday night when futures open. In the United States on the East Coast, that's going to be 6 p.m. Central. That's 5 p.m. Pacific. That's 3 p.m. on Sunday to see what does the stock market do when futures open. One could argue that is really, really bad, but at the same time argue that is epically awesome. So when we look at crypto and see after a horrendous day in the stock market, somehow crypto is still green leaves me wondering if there are any tricks out there that is massively concerning for me to see that on the dow jones there but that is also incredibly interesting on the nasdaq so is the dow jones jumping the gun and the s p 500 and the nasdaq are going to tell the true story or is the dow leading the way and we're going to have to wait till next week to get that answer but for seeing the Dow break through the 200 week moving average, it is interesting to see that crypto is still green. Does it have the feeling of like it actually broke through and it cracked through? No, it doesn't have the feeling of it yet. So we'll keep our eyes on it when we get to next week and when we have futures open and I'll be posting over there on Twitter. And of course, I will cover it Monday morning. But I saw all the comments. I know the craziness that was out there in the stock market today. I wanted to put together a quick video for you guys. And it's time for me to get off of this computer because it's now getting dark outside. I've got chicken wings all covered in lemon pepper and jalapeno salt. And I've got my buffalo sauce ready to go. So I'm going to go grill. It's Friday night. Have a wonderful weekend, guys. We'll check in on this stuff Sunday night and then definitely cover it on Monday morning. Plus, if you're paying attention, you can hear my kids screaming in the background normal everyday life here. I was just going to record this video tomorrow morning, but like I mentioned, I've been learning the drums. I've got my show this weekend. It's going to consume all of my energy and practice to do this thing in front of who knows, 15 people or something like that. I'll do a live stream in front of thousands of people and it's totally fine, but get me on stage. Uh, I'm a little nervous, but I know my song, so I'm ready to go, man. It's going to be fun. And we'll see how things go when futures open on Sunday night. But I wanted to show you guys that Dow Jones below the 200 week moving average, yet NASDAQ and S&P both held on top of their June lows and that NASDAQ nailed its 200 week moving average bouncing off of it. So 
We'll check in on, on it Sunday and then cover it on Monday and then follow me over here on Twitter for any type of Sunday night updates on what we see. But all right, guys, that's it. Have a great weekend. Thank you so much for watching. If you could, please like this video and give it a thumbs up. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe and hit the notification bell so you can be notified of when I create new content and when I go live. As always, this is not investment advice and I am not a financial advisor, but if you ever need a pick me up or a little bit of reassurance, just remember that the blockchain backers got your back. Have a good one.